with another one. This is from Jack TV. I don't even know who this is. I'm not gonna lie. I just saw this on the recommended. It says, "Will she catch her boyfriend cheating with another girl from the club?" And it just looks like something I could just watch, bro. I like shit like this. So my freaking house shoe is stuck. Hey, my bad. But yeah, I've been watching some scary shit lately, like some storytelling type shit. But I don't know, y'all might fuck with this too. We gonna see. But uh, yeah, we about to, bro. <laughs> My chair is getting stuck on cords, slippers, all that type of shit. I'm just trying to scoot up, bro. All right, baby, here we go. But yeah, man, before this video start, like, comment, sub, man. You know, give me the 2K as quick as possible, bro. And uh, let's get straight to it. Welcome back to another episode. And this is like the boyfriend. So he, he about to make the fellas look bad if he cheat. On Jack TV. Today, Cheyenne wants to put her boyfriend stack to the loyalty to test to see if he was truly loyal to her or not. So nice to finally meet you, Cheyenne. Thanks um, to meet you. This is Gabe. He's my security. You know what I'm saying? That's drip behind the camera or whatever. Um, what stood out to me about your story is basically that you left your whole home in Mississippi, came out here, was with your boyfriend for seven months. You're alone, you have no family out here. And for him to switch up on you like that, can you kind of go into more detail about like why you got to this point. Thanks to Cheyenne, we knew that Stag was celebrating his 25th birthday at Dome, giving us the perfect window opportunity to test his loyalty. He used to take me out with him all the time, and now it's just like, he's been changing up. Like, he's barely answering the phone. Uh -oh. He's barely um, texting me back uh -oh. when he go out with his homeboys and stuff. So my intuition just telling me that he cheating. Straight to the point. So um, outside of his homeboys, do y'all have mutual friends? Mm -hmm. Like when he's doing shit and you at home, do you have things to do or did you meet new people from being out here? Yeah, I have a few friends from uh, being out in the club, but we don't have any mutual friends. First red flag was the fact that Cheyenne's boyfriend did not invite her out to celebrate his 25th birthday. However, he could have just wanted to do something with his friends and afterwards do something more intimate with her alone. But that still didn't rub Cheyenne the right way. Okay, so outside of him just not inviting you out, are there any other red flags? Yeah, the red flag is basically, it's supposed to be his birthday weekend. He's supposed to be going out. He, he didn't invite me out with him. That's kind of crazy. He didn't say I could come with him for his birthday, so. What? Yeah, so. But did he tell you not to come? Well, he said it's just him and his boy, so uh, I guess no girls allowed. So I don't know. Like, that's... it's kind of weird that he wouldn't no, invite me. No, that's definitely me, weird. Know, that's definitely him. weird. Um, for his birthday. Sure, you know where school going? too? Why you doing it like that? Uh, I think they're gonna be at Dome. I think that's the name of the club, Dome. Okay. Then you go to the club. So uh, though, what bro. we can do, um, if you want to do something close to his birthday or on his birthday, you just have to send me those details, and we can kind of okay. just try to draw some up to try to see. If He's we can always the right at the club. Okay. Um, if you have any questions for me within that time period, just go ahead and feel free to reach out. Okay. Or any concerns, even if you don't want to do it no more, just let me know what's up. Okay. And this is how we came up with the idea of Cheyenne gifting her boyfriend transportation for that night. The plan was for Cheyenne to tell Stag that the transportation that she rented out was for him and his friends to get home safe because she didn't want him out driving and being intoxicated. Oh, how come every time we go to Atlanta, bruh? <laughs> like, come on, bruh. So yeah, look, we just left Atlanta. We did a consultation with somebody and we flew out there for no reason because I don't feel like they're gonna do it. But good thing about it, tonight, we got to meet with Cheyenne and we're gonna execute her test tonight. Uh, with her boyfriend Stag or whatever. We ain't going to Atlanta no more, bro. At all, hey, bro. Hey. Good, bro. Are you Jack TV? Yeah, what's good, bro? Hey, what's up, man? What's I good? watch your channel, what's bro. Up? They should look scripted like, like a motherfucker. Like, <laughs> oh, hey, sure. can, can I get a picture, bro? Nah, for sure. Yeah, for sure, bro. Go ahead. Take a picture, bro. I got you. Hey, man, I watch you all the time, bro. Uh, <laughs> I got you. Hey, man, I appreciate that, man. Appreciate what's that, up? Man, what's up? Hey, man, what's up, man? Hey, uh, that cash out, that's still real, bro. <laughs> yeah. Hey, bro, can you like show me the uh, technique, bro, so I can check it out? Did you try to do it already? Dude, it's good, dude, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, look, just go to my, go to one of my videos, keep the link in, in it or whatever. So basically, it's like promo like a motherfucker, bro. Wait, make sure. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm like, hey, keep that. I might use that, bro. <laughs> I just did a whole promo, bro. <laughs> Can Stonyfield organic yogurt with high quality ingredients Here and no go, harmful bro. pesticides save the world? Maybe not, but it could save you from saying we have food at home. Again, Stonyfield organic, good on purpose. But the plan was to actually get our decoy to go to his section and make her way on the van so she can actually test his loyalty. So tonight we're conducting this loyalty test and this is actually the first time that Cheyenne and Micah, the decoy, actually- Who look better? I don't know. I don't know. 
know. You get to meet. So we're gonna go ahead and discuss the do's and don'ts like we always do. Cheyenne, this is Micah. Micah, this is Cheyenne. Hey, girl. Meet you, girl. She will be playing a decoy for today's video. Okay. So now this is the perfect time where you can tell her what she can and cannot do while she's conducting the test. Well, basically, I mean, I don't have no, uh, no limits. You can do anything. Like, I don't care. Whoa. I just want to see, yeah, I just want to see if you're going to fall for it. Okay. So I don't care. Go as far as you can go. Like me, All right. As far as you want to. All right, but. So before I reached out to you earlier today, I was actually thinking about going into the club and conducting it here only because um, the fact that he might be intoxicated or under the influence, it may like fuck up the integrity of the test. So. He don't really drink that much, but he, he, he'll probably drink some, but he probably won't be drunk though. Okay. He don't ever get drunk. Based on what he do, like how much would you blame on the liquor? You feel gonna make, yeah, just, like, and he's gonna make the decision he wanna make, so it's all on him. So, Michael, Ooh. when you go in, he's gonna be in section 26. All you're gonna do is approach him, and you gotta act like you're just a party girl. You know okay. what I mean? Go up to him, you know what I'm saying? Flirt with him, make make sure he knows that you know that you feel like he's attractive, and then, you know, try to go home with him on some group shit. Okay. <laughs> I know that's not yeah. ideal, no, but I we need you to I'll get the, back to this van. All right. Okay? For sure. So were you able to give Stag right, the right. driver information? Like, does he know he got a driver after he get out the club? Yeah. Okay. Cool okay, cool. So hopefully everything goes right, being that they intoxicated, and let's see what happens. So hopefully everything goes right. <laughs> Yo, Jack, man. What's up, man? What's good, bro? Hey, bro, I know I met you for the first time yesterday, bro, but whenever I see your videos, bro, I be thinking that cash out shit is fake. I man. Bro. <laughs> I appreciate it, bro. That's exactly what you do and how to approach Stag. Cheyenne will be in a car with me and the team watching everything that goes down. Will Stag pass his loyalty test or will he prove Cheyenne right and fail by making a pass at our decoy on his birthday? Let's find out now. So you guys, Stag's section was already full according to what our decoy came back and told us. After sending Micah in the club, she texted us and informed us that his section was already full and it was very hard to actually get to him. And according to his Instagram story, it wasn't hard to see that. So we waited a couple hours outside of the club, you guys, waiting on Stag and his friends to come outside. Because Micah wasn't able to make her move inside of the club on stack this is our only opportunity to make her move right now so we can see where this goes excuse me hey light skin oh. you good how you doing i peeped you in the club i was trying to see which y'all my friends dished me like this shit. Yeah, like you know how you be, you wanna go with a nigga yeah, and you ready to go. Nah, but like you really too bad. Like, why the fuck ain't nobody say nothing? I don't know, but like, what's your, this your man? Yeah, this my little partner. Oh, what's up? Yeah, but, yeah. this my, this my other son. Like, you, you, you trying to, you trying to, you trying to slide with me? Nah, he drunk, bro. Yeah, like, after, I was trying to oh, this how nice. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me. He drunk. Yeah, like, for sure, for yeah, sure. To, you trying to, you trying to go where? You trying, you trying to pop out, we gonna go to the after hours. Yeah, for sure, for sure. For I, I can fuck with y'all. Come on. Okay, then. Come on. Wow, so he 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 that brought was, it to the van? That was easy. That's an automatic fail for you, huh? Yeah. Oh, this bitch is nice. That's how it is, like. You good, gang? Sit your ass in the front. Yeah, I'll come back here. Ain't nobody worried about you. Yeah, my kids. Sunday here, bitch. Ow. Yeah, that's how it is. Yeah, make sure we follow them so they, they won't get away. Huh? Huh? She's sick. Micah. Micah. Yes. Like Mike and Ike. Like Micah. Oh, he tweet. <laughs> What's your name again? Stag. You want to touch? Yeah. Man, hold on. Where your friends at? Bro. Not here. Not, here. not here. We was in the club for literally <laughs> four hours. <laughs> we went on no hoes. I know it. Oh, oh, he trying to I'm play his man's too. He's not here. We're saying he's not here. Come on. Where's your shot? This shit here, bro. Damn. My bad. Come on. My bad. I thought you were tripping. So this explains why he didn't want me coming out with him tonight. Man, nah, because this shit right here, bro. This shit. So you was here for your birthday? Man, yeah, it was my birthday. You know what I'm saying? I, I really don't be celebrating shit like that, so it was just on some cool shit. Hey, mm. uh, John. I shots with it. I need you to go ahead and slide to that Marriott, bro. It's about that time. Oh, God. <coughs> Wait, so he said he was going to the Marriott? <laughs> 
Yeah, that's what he said. He didn't say nothing about going to the Marriott. He just said he was going out with his homeboys and going home. Oh my God, bro. <sighs> the Marriott. The Marriott, the address that I sent you. Ooh, what's happening there? Girl don't play with me. Girl is crazy. Tonight, baby, baby, don't play with me. Tonight is not that night. So I gotta worry about somebody Come knocking on. on your hotel room or something? Why would you have to worry about all that? I'm just saying, you look like you got, you know. Like I got what? Something going on. What about me makes you feel you like that? You got a couple situations going on, but what like. What about me makes you feel like that? I don't know, you just handsome. You real handsome, but I like. Lie, baby. I don't even know why you playing with me like that. I'm saying what though, you, you single? You're cat. I'm very much single. Like, damn! Oh! Cap. Oh. Oh. That's why that's for me to get the problem. Right, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, we just gonna pass this up there. <laughs> yeah. He gonna sober real oh. quick. Yeah, that's the problem. Hell no, nah, son. You alright? Yeah, I'm fine. You good? I hate driving here, yo. Hurry up, it's crazy. Damn, my legs, what? I might as well go. What do you sure see? Huh? No, I mean, you get... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you took okay, it. I know you don't, but still, you get your show. You looking at it. So answer my question, though. Yes or no? How about what? Like, is you completely, like, up for grass? Yeah, listen, I am completely up for grass. I don't have you work situation out? shit. See. You stop flexing. I'm not flexing. Relax, you are flexing. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> you got dimples. <laughs> Yo, you funny. <laughs> Bro, I ain't gonna lie. Look, check this out. Bro, because I ain't gonna lie. You damn near finna give me an anxiety attack. Oh, God. I'm all for real. We're a friend. They're not here. We gotta find your own. Hey, yeah, find look, your I don't know why you keep asking me, do I got a girl? Bro, why? Well, he gonna, I don't got no girl. You gonna cap. You don't got no girl. Maybe this man's gonna back up for him, too. I don't got no girl. No girl. I don't got no girl. I don't even play like that. I don't even play like that. We just gonna avoid that conversation because he your man, so he gonna ride for you. I ain't gonna lie. It's cool, though. It's cool. Him himself? No, I ain't got no girl. It's all right. Him himself? No, I ain't got no girl. It's all right. Him no, it's all right. It's all right. You making this look bad, about, bro. Uh, Miss Mike and Ike. Uh, Steak. What's up? What you trying to do? Man, let me pile you up in the wine glass and let you know I really want these classy ass. I ain't not holding it. I don't think spread. you need no more. That's for me or you? For you. Man, I'm just out Dude, there. like, what is you got going I'm on? Just sip on that. Just like, I'm you trying to turn me up for what? What you mean? We're gonna go back to the hotel. What you mean? Okay, and what's what that mean? You already know what type of time I was on while I was in the club. You're not trying to fuck. Oh. This nigga trying to fuck. He just drunk. Nah, just nah, pull this shovel. You can't get back. Pull this shovel right now. I'm, I'm ready to get out. You can't get back to the club, bro. We can see yes, where the vibe. We can see where the vibe. Nah, like, yes, you who no, aggressive though? Alright, so what if I said no? What if I said no? You gotta go. Oh. All right, and then when I pass I'm my mama in the middle. Hey, driver. And, and then when I pass that, yes. I'm my daddy. Stop in the middle of the street. She got to get the fuck out. This your man? Right now. It's real. You, you condone this? Yay or nay? That's y'all. Yay I or nay? Know. Is you trying to... Whatever you want to do. It's your world. See, this is what I'm saying, bro. I love her. I love you. <laughs> he I drunk, yeah, we bro. He's gone. I'm not taking this big ass. You got me fucked up. All right, well, then post something on my crew. Okay, let's go, okay, okay. How long are you? Are you from Houston? No, I'm from Michigan. Detroit. Are you from Detroit? Where mm -hmm. are you from? from the spot. Oh, you from... Eight miles from where... Uh, I'm from Eminem. Eminem <laughs> and shit, you from... Uh, I mean, if you if that's what you want to... I guess. She's Detroit. You can rap. Eight mile, no. Can you, you can rap? rap? I can rap. I'm gonna rap for this song. How live? How live? I'm screaming. This nigga yeah, they, they go to the motherfucking Marriott. Oh, look, little MK. Now, what I'm about? Man, I'm about oh. to bend that ass over, get up in okay. it. You already know. I'm, I'm about to end it. I already know. I'm about to lick on that pussy. What? You already know. It was mushy. It was good. Shoot, shoot. Oh. Oh. All right, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. That's she enough. Really that's enough. 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 That's enough.
Huh? How much do you weigh? 150. Okay. How much you weigh? Like 170. I ain't gonna lie, baby. You know how to do me. You wanna see how I see? You saying baby boy? Yes. You know what that Melvin feels? Yeah. Hey, <laughs> you think you know what it is. <laughs> Bro. So if I sit on you, I'm gonna be heavy? You know what I mean? I'm like, I'm living in times 12. <laughs> oh, heavy. Bro, and then she smells so good. Oh, my God. What you be wearing? It's your natural scent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. I feel bad. Like, uh, I feel bad. I feel bad at me. <laughs> <laughs> it's obvious that Stag already failed his loyalty test, you guys. Cheyenne already said that the fact that he even invited her on the van, that it was an automatic fail. But we had to wait, you guys, because the van was actually moving. And now it's just time to go ahead and confirm him. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You said what? You surprised. Where is that? What is this? What the fuck is all this? I ain't, I ain't gonna lie, hold up. He's sobered up quick. Fuck all of this. I ain't even gonna lie, look. Hey, I'm playing. I want to tell you, you been on loads of tests, bro. We know exactly what's been going on. I ain't gonna lie. Right. Please. What you, I gotta you, do? Go to the club you, and throw some money? No. You, see you got bitches coming to your huh? section? You got bitches coming to your section? And you bring it to the club now for this movie, y'all? This is what we all? Number two? You a part of this? You he don't worry about the girl. I don't care about none of that. You been doing all this faking too. Both of y'all. What you want to do? What are you talking about? That's my brother now. I'm done with. I'm done with this whole situation. Like I'm done with you. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't even want to talk to you neither. What you? What I do? What are you talking about? Hey, bro, get this camera on my face. I'm my daddy, bro. Hey, you out of line for the two hours, bro. So let me know how beat it for me. Bro, go on. Why are you doing all that? So you guys, unfortunately, being that we was at a five-star hotel, hotel security came down and told us we had to move because we had no permission to be filming there and Stag was causing a big scene and things kind of got out of hand. Unfortunately, I cannot show it because this video kept going yellow, you guys, and I had to edit most of these clips out. Wow, Maybe I'll try to bro. pitch one later on down the line. Look for that in the description down below. And if you enjoyed this video, man, no, wait, that shit crazy, bro. That nigga is ridiculous for that, bro. Bro, he said like his girl wasn't even here. He like shit didn't even exist. He's like, I ain't even talking to you. Oh my god, bro. No way. <laughs> Let me know what y'all think about this, bro. <laughs> that is insane.